Well, today is October, I think it's 26. I know it's Tuesday and <clears throat> Halloween's on Thursday. 31, 30, oh, matter of fact, it's October 29th. Scratch that, it's Tuesday, October 29th. And here's my field. Come down here to feed my pig. One of my pigs, I got four. But let me show you what I'm seeing. <clears throat> I've been moving this pig just right down through here. And every time I move it, I scatter a seed and I just moved it from right there last night. But this right here was done a while back. Probably when we were there my first seeding. And you can see the turnips coming up. I'm gonna try to hold still on some of them so you can see them. That's the turnip greens coming up. Maggie, Maggie, stop. And of course I'm growing rocks too. But if you come up through here and look, you're also going to see that real fine bladed grass coming up too. I mean you can see it right along in there. But I mean where it's really obvious is up in here in the, the rest of the field. And we're now what, one, two, I think two weeks into this operation of growing this stuff. And you can see my turnips, my seven top and my rape or whatever it is, is all coming up just fine. But you can also see all the other grasses coming up too. Trying to get to a spot where there's quite a bit of nice thin bladed grass coming up. But you can also see some smaller stuff coming up too. <clears throat> and we're not really thinking that is the hoobam. Not me. Uh, the, I brought some other people out to look at it. They think that's just volunteer grass coming up. The moles sure are liking this, but uh, you know we got quite a bit of turnips coming up all over. Like you come up in here, and there's a lot of green grass coming up. And I don't know if that's just the Bermuda that's re you know replanting itself this late in the year. I wouldn't think the Bermuda would be coming up, but it could be. Then you look like up in here. And there's that fine, right where Maggie's walking through right now. And there's fine green coming up everywhere. Almost kind of looks like oats coming up. And I mean, it's really getting after it. There's a couple other spots up there where green grass is coming up too. But this turnip should outrun the grass. I mean, you see right through here, turnips are really getting after it. And they're just kind of spotty out through here, so we're wondering if the hoobam is going to wait till if this nice green fine sprouts coming up as hoobam, like right along in here, or we're wondering if the hoobam is going to wait till spring to actually do anything. I just have trouble seeing seed lay there on the ground all winter long and not rotting and going bad, but it does do that. I know it does, but. And then we came over here by some of my beehives. See, I even got turnips all the way out in here where I didn't till. I wanted to go ahead and plant where there was grass also and see what happened. Then we come over here by my beehive that's farthest to the west. Like around the bottom of this cedar, we see a bunch of this coming up. And they think that's more clover than anything. Now last year I did buy some crimson clover and it's all around the like the base of that beehive right there and there's some stuff right here coming up and that's a little different from what all we're seeing but we'll see hopefully my field will come back and Something besides just junko weeds, something will come back at least the bees can use or 
the animals can use something can use besides just junk weeds because that's all it was there was just junk if anything i'll get a bunch of turnip greens out of it eat some of those and those will get up high enough and bloom and turn into seven top blooms and the bees can use that at least if the hoo bam doesn't really kick in but i hope the hoo bam kicks in that's why i spent the most of the money and that's what i was really spending most of the time on but these turnip greens are going to come up thick and they're going to be everywhere but i think this is the second week full week and the other piece of land up there we're just going to wait <clears throat> until it starts sprouting up to the grass to be able to see it it's supposed to rain like the next four days this grass is already kind of damp or the ground's already still wet so this rain coming in will give it plenty wet <laughs>